In this video, we're going to look at the uses of visible and ultraviolet light. Visible light is the light that we use to see and appears different colors depending on the wavelength, with red being the longest wavelength and violet being the shortest. You can remember the order of the colors using the phrase Roy G. Biv, which stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. As well as using it to look at things, visible light can also be used for communication using optical fibers. These things are thin glass or plastic fibers that are able to transmit pulses of light over long distances because the light is reflected every time it hits the surface and so ends up bouncing back and forth throughout the entire journey until it emerges at the other end of the fiber where it can be interpreted. By encoding information into the light pulses, we can use this technique to transmit data really quickly over long distances. Importantly though, we have to use materials that will totally reflect the light rather than absorbing any, and also ensure that the reflection is specular rather than diffuse, so that the light isn't scattered at all. The alternative to using optical fibers to transmit our information is using copper wires and electricity. But the advantage of optical fibers is that they can transmit much more information and the signals are less likely to be distorted during transmission. Ultraviolet radiation comes after violet on the spectrum and has a shorter wavelength than visible light. The most well-known example is the ultraviolet radiation that's emitted from the sun and can give us a suntan, or sometimes sunburn. We can also generate ultraviolet radiation ourselves for use in things like sunbeds, which we use to get an artificial tan. Now, one of the more tricky concepts in this topic is the idea of fluorescence. This is a property of certain chemicals where ultraviolet light is absorbed and then the energy is re-emitted as visible light. This is why fluorescent paints look so bright. They're actually emitting light, unlike most other materials which only reflect it. The same idea underlies fluorescent lights. These things, first of all, generate ultraviolet radiation. And all of that radiation is then absorbed by a layer of phosphorus that coats the inside of the glass bulb. Then because the phosphorus has so much energy, it re-emits the energy as visible light. And so we've effectively converted the ultraviolet light into visible light which we can then use to see by. The benefit of using fluorescent bulbs is that they're really energy efficient. So we can save on electricity bills and carbon dioxide emissions. Another use of UV radiation is in security. By using special security pens, we can mark property and write codes that are completely invisible until we shine ultraviolet light on them. We do the same thing with passports and banknotes, which makes them harder to copy and means we can detect forgeries more easily. And the very final use of UV radiation is to sterilize water, which it can do because it destroys microorganisms. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again soon.